What an exciting series to kick us off. We've got TNC facing Lilgon. D definitely was at a stage where it could have been brought down, but look at this play. Centaur Conqueror into the hook. Eleven's got no mana to be able to trade. So they're going to be relying on Kishka to turn it around with the abilities. The combo's out, but Yolwei able to step back behind the Snapfire's aggression. And now Kishka three. might be in trouble as well. Hook's going to be up in a couple of seconds. Yolwei looking to actually just get straight on top of the Snapfire and rely on the Rot to secure the kill. And now Eleven's going to be pretty cautious as well. The Stomp is back up. Finds a connection into the Hook once again. Eleven, he's got enough mana to be able to chuck out one axe. And that is a whole lot of mana. Top lane, they're getting aggressive on Bok for the moment. 4 2 3. He's able to find his Jinku stacks thanks to Bound the Strike. Tries to dodge the Soul Assumption, but the damage is still coming through as Carlo can easily chase him down and early win lace. And now they can turn to Ace as well. Bok doesn't have enough mana to be able to rely on the Soul Assumption, but the right clicks is plentiful as Carlo secures the double kill. If you're just constantly getting your boars taken away and harassed out of the lane. Oh, Yoe. Nice hook thanks to the Observer Ward. He's able to scout out 11, connecting back to the lane. He's going to try and TP out. And he's under the ward. Yeah, Carlo. Look at this play. Beautifully done. Safety. Oh, oh, no, Mavis. He's able to still pivot on over. The use of the Wild Wing Ripper pulling him back, but Sanctity still not able to survive. Trying double. to land the tree line. Double Familiar stun into the combination. It's going to refresh the Familiars to chase down 4 2 3. He doesn't have a level in the Wukong to be able to give him some bonus armor, and no one is TPing top as well to protect the position one Monkey King. So Lil Gun feeding a couple kills across the map. Not just because the they were occupied at bottom, but also Primal Raw still oh, on hook in. Carlo. They're going to try and target down Sanctity for the moment. And the rest of Logan, they're just too slow to react. Beautiful plays from TNC from top to mid they go. It is for sure, but Krish has always oh, been like that. Yo, a nice hook. Goes fishing, catches up the Grimstroke, but Logan trying to find a rebuttal. Sanctity is going to toss the punch further inside the command. But the rest of TNC flocking to the mid lane. Kishku gonna right. jump inside. Still the damage coming through for the Wukong is something that TNC are unable to deal with. Arena's gonna buy them a little bit of breathing room. Mavis stuck inside the walls for the moment, but the Mortimer Kiss is doing barely any damage. Long wrap around for Lugan. See the position of the Enchantress, but they don't want to try and blow up Mavis just first. Looks like Carlo's going to be the target. Saying Diddy jumps in simultaneously in the river, though. The roar's out with the Mortimer Kisses. They're targeting down Bok on the Visage. The Wraith Pack's not enough to keep him alive. Meanwhile, to the north, though, Yolwe is caught out. Saying Diddy with the follow-up damage coming through Krish's arena. They're able to bring down the Rockman. It's the one. Hookshot. Oh, this is deep. This is really deep. They need to be perfect with all their damage to be able to get rid of Sanctity. And it looks like that's going to be the case. And Krish, it can chain this into the Snapfire kill as well. No hesitation with dropping the arena. Carlo, pinpoint accuracy with the hook shot. Sanctity, though, cooking to the middle of the fire for the dismember. Tears apart the life of the tiny. And now Lil Gun, they got to get out. You cannot stick around for this team fight. Probably would have had this Agative Scepter now, well he does have it now, but he's had to sell something to be able to get it uh, for a previous fight. 4-2-3! Oh, items. Chris! He's able to catch out 4 2 3 on the tree line, and our Carlos nearby as well, locking the Monkey King down. He's going to be put in a position where he has to brawl to keep They see 4 2 3. Oh, Kishka! Double Sun Sinky! He's got the fall, they're crumbling! Age is gone, TNC, they are respawning shortly, so Lil Gun, they gotta be cautious now. You gotta get the kills and you need to get out fast, but Sanctity, he's stuck inside the cogs. They will not give the Tiny an opportunity to retreat in our TNC, they're back up and they wanna fight. They want revenge as your way, charging to the middle, straight towards the Monkey King's location as they rip apart 423's life. Kirish? Oh, he already used the speed location for Lil Gun. Smoke's gonna pop. They're all grouped up. Where's the jump? It's gonna be Chris first. Jumps inside the river towards the backline, though. They're on to Yolwe on the punch. They just get rid of him. Easy like that. And now they can blow up the Enchantress next. And Yolwe, he brought back to TNC. They want the last save the team fight, but they can't oh, take nice this cookie. engagement inside the Wukong's command. To the left, though, Chris rips apart one of the supports, but they still gotta be cautious, man. The damage. Yolwe, he stepped in. Dismember. Just melting through the life of the Monkey King. Yolwe doing ridiculous amounts of DPS. And now Grish! Oh, double damage rune for the loss. They see Yolwe. They see Yolwe Sanctity. 
jump in, but he doesn't get the toss. Great reaction from Yolwe with the BKP, but the Raw preventing the spear as well. So they're locked inside the arena for the moment. Sancti is still falling lower and lower. They're gonna push him over the wall, but it will not matter. As now 423 needs to turn to deal with Yolwe. That's a I dieback on the Pudge. 423 playing around with the double damage rune. I don't know if you can take the fight on TNC. They're gonna look to avoid the Monkey King instead as Christian Mavis turns towards 11. 423 though steps in. Whoop. Another triple cookie. But where's the fall? 423 doesn't have a BKB to protect him for the moment. As Kishka trying to do it all by himself, but he does not have what is required to turn the fight. Gone. Power of Indian Dota. Chris jumps in again. Look at the damage. Ace is gonna buy back. Oh, Carlo. That's a nice target. 423 is going to be locked inside the cogs. You don't want to force out an early BKP, but he might be required to do so now as Yolwe on point with the Waste hook once the again, but they're able to cancel the dismember and now with the Wukong command out on the high ground. Yolwe's gone. TNC. Can they reset though? Was a lot forced from Lugan in regards to the ultimates if they can group up. Lugan. Well, it's going to try and enter Enchantress. Hang on a second. Forced off to reposition, but a Sanctity pounces on the opportunity. Still but alive. Mavis, they haven't killed off the Enchantress. And now, meanwhile, Yolwe gets the hook, drags Sanctity into his death. There's 4 2 3 trying to play on the outskirts of the Wukong's man, but he's lost the ring and he's lost the protection. Trying to make it to the high ground is 4 2 3. Protected with the Silver's Edge for the moment. Kishka's going to buy some time as well. All the stuns being implemented to hold them back. This TNC continuing to chase. Now hook, Yowei. Ooh, Yowei. Oh, Yoway! Oh, Almost oh, gets oh. him. 4 2 3. Hang on. Chris just got blink. 4 2 3. What are you doing farming this lane, my guy? Yep. Instantly has it. Okay. This is huge. That extra ring is really important. Uh, uh, Lil Gun, they win off the back of this Wukong's man. That's it. Oh, Yowei. Stop finding these hooks, man. Kish is important. Meanwhile, Chris is in. Arena's out. He's got the second use of the arena as well. Pops the orb instead towards the backland though. Mavis goes off Kishka. Carlos in. He has no BKB now. Carlos in. He's just making space. Puts a body on the line, protecting them so they can deal with the objectives. Chris still has that refresher. They gotta go, they gotta go, and Krish is gonna do so. They called the Monkey King! 4 2 3 going! That Ooh, should be Krish. game! As Krish's Mars deserves to ban without goddamn good! He looks on this hero! TNC take game one, 42 minutes in. What a performance TNC from there. with a game one victory, but we up with the second draft and first metamorphosis usage. Of course, the damage getting buffed up pretty heavily. In. They might start to get aggressive now. Yeah, Mavis is just free pickings for them with this battle land strut from Carlo. So they're going to turn their attention over towards the tiny, but they do get the toss under the tower. Sanctity's so still farming, man. Level 17. Sort of careful, though. She might be in trouble. Eleven's going to jump in. Targeting down Chris at the moment. Chris hasn't been able to get the Yule Scepter off. Sanctity's bringing down the Death Prophet incredibly low. They secure the kill and out of the West. 4 2 3. But Wukong's gonna make it difficult for them to enter the fight on Yolwe. They're continuing to lose their numbers here. Yolwe doesn't really have anyone to play behind him. The return to Bok next, but an early use of the Aghanim Shard is able to protect the Visage for the moment, and Yolwe oh continuing on toward the higher gun, and with the Fatal Bonds really racking up the damage. Oh my lord, no way. Ace pops the smoke in our Sancti. 11's in! Oh, the arena on to three! Bye-bye, both the supports! They're gonna instantly buy back on Mavis, feeling the importance of the team fight. Chris charging towards Sancti's location, but it's gonna be cautious. BKB expires, and now they've got firm control of the area. We're going to lay it down as they melt through Christian's life pool. As Lil' Gun, they can chain this into more. TNC. They see the Warlock. Oh, they're in again. Sanctine 11 straight onto Bok. But an even better use of the ultimate from Mavis, controlling every hero, but it will not matter as your way. Last second use of the Sunder. 4 2 3 is going to try and stand his ground. But the Satanic, look at him do it all by himself. Your way needs help. So Bok's going to look to buy back. He's got the second line, but he won't have meta for it. Oh, charging forward they go. Lil Gun feel like they can't take this fight now. 11 in the tree line. Ooh. Head charging into each other. Sanctity. Oh, Ace is going to jump aggressively into the middle. They're off with the combo. That could cost Carlo his life, but Mavis is going to have something else to say with it. Drop of the combination with the rock used. They want to stick around on TNC, though. Continuing to retreat is 11 again. Double speed. Sanctity is going to enter with all the damage it would ever require to blow up Chris.
Irish, but your way. They still need to be careful. Shit's about the Terror Blade. Trying to get to the outskirts of the Wukong Command. He's able to turn with the Sunder now, but the overgrowth a little bit too late with the Mystic Flare Burst to get rid of him. Your way is gone. Now towards Bok is Ace 12. This man is doing it all. Oh, what is the Tree Protector doing to TNC? It's a dieback on Bok. They can catch out Carlo as well. They had the ward on the high ground. It looks like the high ground. Yep, no, it won't even stop them. Gory Scepter only buying a little bit of time for Carlo, but it will not matter. Fight right nice now. Spear. We really don't want to be. Nice spear from 11. Holds back your way for Sanctity. Can reposition, get the refraction back up. T4 towers are gone. In answer, I don't think it's going to come out. Looks like we and are going gone. to that game three to side up. TB is going to buy back. Sainty is going to end this game. Be on gold like. Uh, a glyph to buy some time and uh, maybe hope that someone DCs and that will not be the case. As there we go. Game three, Logan. I wonder if they're even going to consider like, I mean, obviously they're going for this first blood that they need to be able to start things off. Of course, uh, Visage, one of the better heroes to be able to go for a full five on five team uh, fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we even got to double boundless as well on Kishka, but they will not run over to the Grimstrike. They're happy with getting first blood. If you can go down, you can probably get some damage in onto this tower. Uh, Beautiful. Or could reveal space, but 11 still will go down. The turn to beat into Carlo next, and with the cycling up on the Visage. Yo, he's not going to have too much involvement. Overgrowth used defensively to buy some time, but oh, you've really got to be cautious about Sanctity. On the prowl is the Timber leaping towards the outer skirts of the tower, but they just blow up the Ember. Where the health pool going, Chris? Yeah, probably would, yeah, we'll attack 4 2 3 one. They're coming from TNC. Well, they're a bit late. They are a bit late. They're going to look to still take the fight. It's an incredible overgrowth holding three. Carlo's going to give them firm control of the area as well with the Wukong's command, but it looks like Lil Gun, they're going to take the fight right into it. They don't give a damn about the ultimates getting dropped. They're going to look to enter onto the Brewmaster. It's a key component if they can get rid of the Primal Split, but Ace 12, he gets it off in the nick of time, and now they're in trouble. Leashing two heroes together in 4 2 3. It's just having a free fight. Standing his ground. Getting all the damage off that will require. TNC with the BKBs on cooldown. They've got to be cautious how long they continue to take the fight. It's Ace 12 with the split. Roshad. You always got to try and enter the look. It. Observe what sentry combination is able to scout out the visage. And without the Gravekeeper's cloak, he's not long for this world. A beautiful use of the concussive grenade as well as 423 breaks the static link. Four stuffing up to the higher gun, but they will not have an answer to the BKB TP out. Well, uh, you, you can try and charge in the middle, but north, towards the north. Sanctity is doing all in regard to the damage, and now Bok is completely split from the team. Assassinate shouldn't be enough, just the living armor, but the fireball ticks him out. Oh, we'll right back on the razor. And soon to be a second. Would you say Bok was murdered? But again, Sanctity looks pretty untouchable. So they're just going to look to avoid him instead. Trying to get on top of the Brewmaster to make sure that split is not a factor, but the Boundless Strike too late. Ace gets the ultimate off in 4 2 3. He wants another high five as well. Little gun, they are feeling themselves towards the end of this game, and well deserved. GG is out as Little Gun continue.